Well here we are in the grow room, my YouTube friends, and you'll uh, notice we've got the uh, pink aura this morning, and uh, that's because um, I've been changing the room around again. See the centre light? I touched that last night. <coughs> it's, it's got little arms that come up. And I just touched one of the little arms and the, the whole thing just collapsed, it fell on me. So I had to go downstairs and of course I said to Keith, look at this. He looked at me. What have you done? I said, I didn't do anything. He must have done. Anyway, he's ordered me another little come today. He didn't believe me, you know. But I didn't do anything. He just fell. <laughs> anyway, let me just uh, come down off my little step. And uh, can you see all that space now? Well, on Tuesday, <coughs> uh, I have to go, oh, let's turn this uh, oscillating fan off. Let's just turn this particular full spectrum light off. On Tuesday, I had to go for my second uh, jab. And um, I didn't have any side effects at all. It was absolutely wonderful because the first injection I had, <coughs> I had three of the side effects and it wasn't very nice. Anyway, so that was on Tuesday. And uh, we had visitors, which uh, we're allowed visitors now. And uh, and then Wednesday I came in here and I just <clears throat> thought, I need to just to make more room again. And uh, anyhow, he thinks I should go for a coronavirus jab every month. This is because uh, I cleaned the cooker and I've cleaned up here. And he, he's thinking, well, young, what's gone up with it? <laughs> Excuse my... <laughs> Uh, use of words but uh, there you go anyway so what I decided to do in the end I'd got that this shelf in here <clears throat> I'd got it here hadn't I and uh, the gap between this one and this one which is that one uh, I couldn't get me BTM properly through every time and I, I can't get myself wedged. So um, I thought, I've got to do something. I've got to change this somehow. And I didn't know how to change it. So I come up with a tape measure. And in the end, uh, after the second attempt of moving this shelf and this shelf, I got it right. And then I cleaned all the carpet. And what I do now, can you see that little vander down there? Um, and all these vanders here. Um, that water they've got there is Epsom salts and uh, some of these are doing really nice now they've got green growing tips so I'm quite pleased about that and then I've got the three cata um, sorry the three um, catley types here excuse about the light because we're in bright sunlight it's 21.8 here and it's 66 <coughs> percent humidity and uh, maybe not quite as easy to uh, film let's just see how we can get the light better i've still got the wand full spectrum light on and i've got the other one here and this one is flexible you see and i can aim it in that corner or over there At these and uh, they've got the f fan up there <clears throat> and we've got the big oscillating fan here and the rest of the things are uh, in the same order and there's the uh, soft-leaved fowls and we've got a couple that have got spikes on just at the back. <clears throat> what I've tried to do with that shelf being where I'm stood now, I've tried to not change the orientation of the plants because they they get settled in one direction and uh, the only thing is I've brought this big um, Leodora here and uh, it was on this top shelf. <clears throat> But I think this is fine here, and I can move it about. It's, it's these three spikes, you see, they can get in your way. And 
down there in the little corner you'll see uh, that's Phalaenopsis pulcherima just tucked away there nicely and uh, we've got a dull day today these are where I've put the uh, there we go Tulumnias and, uh, and that's the species one these get watered every day and if we look up here you can still see we've got some uh, um, humidity on those windows and these are the, the big ones and we went to the uh, one of our little uh, garden centers it's they're not garden centers like they used to be you should be able to go to a garden centre and a real good rummage. But now all they do is they bring plants in, mainly bedding plants. Uh, and they've got coffee shops and eating places. And, and people just seem to go for a coffee or for a, a breakfast. But I, I wanted some pots. And <clears throat> I managed to find these. But they haven't got a ridge on, you see. They've only got that decorative ridge. And uh, I wanted them smaller. Anyhow, yeah, that that's what size is this? It's got V15. These key, these are uh, made in Italy. These are that 99p. I thought that was quite good. These, I think these come from China. These are quite heavy. Two pound and nine p them were. But. Um, we got a few of those, but I still want uh, some of these. And, uh, don't let's just take you around. <coughs> See the difference that uh, um, daylight is made in here. Goodness gracious. I wanted some of these. Now these are 8 centimetres. I think those are 10 centimetres. Oh no, that's 11 centimetres. <clears throat> and um, I don't know what these others are. Um, anyhow, Keith's been on the um, Amazon this morning and uh, we've got 10 of them coming today. Um, that's a little Mazdabalia, that is. That quite likes it in that uh, terracotta pot. See? And. Uh, there they all are, of varying sizes, and uh, what I want is to uh, have some more on this area here. I've got the space, <clears throat> that's the uh, Pastoral Innocence, I've just um, clipped that at the back here. That's one of the little stellas, and those are two little of the phalaenopsis. The others have, have put in vases. Let's just take you up this way and then you'll just see how everything's really doing well. They're all to bits with them. And I don't know if they'll be able to get it down. <clears throat> Let me just see if I can. It's like a balancing act this is when I come to water. I have a, a little routine so I don't knock any of these plants. But you've got to be so, so careful. And what I wanted to show you, this is the Aspasia sylvana. Now I did have one of these quite a while ago. Killed it, of course. Didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing at times. And I found this nice big long branch. Um, those are three of the little clips that uh, I was sent as a gift. So I decided to, to put it on this branch and an orchid will actually tell you quite quickly if, um, if it's happy. Now let me just see if it'll stay there. And the other day I noticed. Can you see? All those new roots. 
Look at them. And a new growth come in there. And if we go around here, this one, all those new roots. And a growth come in as well. And that new growth it sent out there, that's just wedged against the branch. So I'm just going to manoeuvre that so if it, oh, it may not. Hold on. What I don't want to do is just knock it. Let's just hang it. I'd rather know it's safe than. There we go. And it goes up there in that corner. So that's one that um, absolutely loves that mount. I'm just trying to see um, if anything else is just jumping out at me. Um, and what I did with some of these vases is of course you get algae. Um, and some of these I've got in lecker with just some water, not, not all of them. And what I did in the end, what I decided in the end, is how can I get rid of this algae? So, and you'll see down here, if I just go down, oh God. it's not the going down, it's the getting up. And, I mean, we're losing leaf on that one. That phalaenopsis, but I've no problem with that. Um, so I've put socks. There we go. Let me get up. See? I've put a sock, manoeuvred a sock. I can, I mean, I can still just pull it down like that, but um, I can check the water levels and uh, and this will stop the algae growing. So that's one of my little jobs I did. And all these others, these are the uh, patio petalums. That was the one that. I had terrible trouble with mealybugs and that seems to be romping away and the reason I know it's romping away if I just bring it out of its little container and I'm very careful there look that root it's doing fine and we've got a new growth there and we've got a new growth there so let's put that back in that little cup and then what I want um, those new terracotta pots for is to put all these in and you see they're all growing nicely now but I want them actually in terracotta pots I think um, the better I mean, these are all right. These are just um, what we have um, yogurts and things in. But I want to put all these little ones here in little terracotta pots, and then I can then add add them to this particular frame here. So um, everything else, and you see. They're all doing well, even the little ones, they get watered every day, in fact today uh, I've got to uh, water some of the mounts and I'll just change hands, bear with me a minute, I just wanted to show you this little mount, do you remember I had the uh, Docorilla and uh, there we are, there we go and it just got I'd got two little pieces I think. Well look. Can you see that one? It's got a little green root coming out. I couldn't believe it. So this gets watered 
every day because he's only on a little tiny piece of um, cork but uh, it absolutely loves it and these are all dream well you've seen the nice roots right so the sun's shining now and that means it's time to uh, get some of these big ones down and uh, and water everything. I just wanted to a little allow me, don't know. Let's see I, I hope I've um, I don't spill water everywhere. As I, I did fill this up the other day. This is one of those gifts from Mark. This is the Catacetum Orchid Clay David Ranchies. And look how that bulb has thickened. And look at the roots. Look at them everywhere. I've put it up here. Can you see? And they're even branching. So, I mean, because this sits in the window, um, it's full of uh, the outside is uh, is going to green up because of the algae. But there's nothing I can do about that. And there we go. Absolutely loves it. Sits here on this self facing window and uh, gets baked all the time. Right, so here we are under this other oscillating fan. That's my Sidereus Japonica. I've got the two Masdevalias from Mick of Mick's Masdevalias. And he's um, one of the volunteers at these big centres where the uh, Covid uh, injections are and without those people selfishly, selflessly giving up their time it, we, would have, we wouldn't have had the rollout of the vaccine like we are. I mean I thanked, um, I thanked the sister who gave me my injection and said it's been absolutely marvellous the rollout of our vaccination program. So thrilled that uh, that one that's still in flower is deciding to just um, I bought one of those old leaves. This is my uh, Baz Mazda Valley Bomb Plum Di. So anyway, I uh, just a quick look at the uh, revamped room again. The Hoya Cornosa, and uh, I'll put that one back in a minute. You see the uh, the soft leaf fowls how they get bathed in that sunshine, and I'm trying to keep the top shelf clear, simply to um, allow that light to flow through, and it can flow through and. Uh, come um, to the uh, fragmapediums here and I've got some more fowls and vases just under here and these are some of the others so let me just come back a little bit and then so when I want to do a video and then I want to sit down with my table and chair I've got all this this room now. Right, so the fan's got to go on. The fan's on. And I'll put this other light on. There. And then I can lift it up. It's a bit creaky, but there we go. And I can move it round. Right, so thank you again for taking time out to uh, join me on this video. And uh, I'll get round to doing all my watering now. And we'll be back soon. From me to you. Take care. Bye-bye now.